Hello everybody, this is Vinayak and welcome back to Vox for Lifetime, your go-to source for Linux tutorials and server management tips brought to you by Vox4.com, your trusted provider for lifetime VPS, dedicated servers, managed WordPress hosting, monthly VPS plans and lifetime web hosting based on cPanel. In today's video, we will walk you through how to rename directories in Linux and why it matters for effective file management. Renaming directories is more than just a name change. It helps improve file organization, maintain clarity in collaborative projects and prevent confusion during system maintenance. Properly named directories can save time and reduce errors in tasks like backups and migrations. Basic syntax for renaming directories in Linux is mv command. Syntax of mv command is mv space our previous directory name space our new directory name. For example, to rename a directory with name project backup to project archive, copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. The old directory named project backup has been changed to project archive. To verify these changes, I will do a list and list will be in front of us. The project archive is only visible now, which means that the project backup directory has been renamed to project archive. In some scenarios, there can be issues while handling overrides or renaming a directory to same name which already has a file with it. This means that if we are trying to rename a directory to another name and the other name is already used for file or directory in our Linux, we will consider it as an override. To handle this, I will copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. If I do ls space hyphen l and press enter, we can also see the time of their modification along with their permissions such as read or write. To rename a directory which consists of spaces between it, for example, my project directory, use brackets along with the directory name, space our new directory name. Copy it, go to terminal paste it and press enter. I will do a ls space hyphen l and press enter. The directory with name my project has been renamed to my underscore project. There is another method as well called the escaping spaces method in which we use backslash for replacing space or gaps present between letters. To use it, copy syntax present in our block that is mv space my backslash space project space my underscore project. Over here, the backslash and space will be detected as the recursion or replacement and the my underscore project is our new name. Copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. If I do a ls now, my underscore project is present here. If there are special characters in directory names such as and, dollar or hash sign, extra precautions are good to avoid errors and misinterpretation by shell. One such example is at the rate in between the folder name. To fix this and rename folder with its name as data and backup to data underscore backup, we will use mv space inverted commas data and backup inverted comma close space data underscore backup. Copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. If I do a ls now, the data and backup has been replaced with data underscore backup. Another such example 
of renaming directories and files in Linux is rename. Rename does not come pre-installed in many Linux distributions, but it can be installed by using sudo apt install rename on Ubuntu or Debian based operating system or by using sudo yum install prename on Alma Linux, Rocky Linux or Red Hat based operating systems. It is a more advanced version than mv command which we use for renaming in Linux. I will install rename command by copying it, go to the terminal, paste it and press enter. Rename command is now installed in our Linux machine. To create a batch rename directories or bulk renaming script, use commands present in our blog. I will copy it, create a file named batch underscore rename.sh by typing nano space batch underscore rename.sh, press enter, paste it, exit by pressing control X, Y and enter. Make the file executable by doing chmod plus x. Copy it, go to terminal, paste it, press enter. Our batch rename script is now executable. To execute it, type dot slash batch rename dot sh and directories will be renamed. To rename directories with permission or user roles, use hyphen ld command along with ls. The syntax will be ls space hyphen ld space name of our directory. This can be used to specifically target a directory. Copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. We can now see the permissions present for a directory with its name as directory underscore name. If you encounter any errors while renaming a file and you are not a root user, use sudo command. That is sudo space mv space our previous directory name space new name. I'll copy it, go to terminal, paste it and press enter. This command will apply rename using pseudo privileges to any sub user. To change ownership, use chown space our username colon group space the name of directory. I'll copy it, go to terminal, paste it. Directory underscore name file will be changed with its ownership to user present in group. Instead of this, change its ownership to root colon. The group shall also be root group. Press enter. The ownership has been changed for directory underscore name to root. That's it for today's guide on renaming directories in Linux. We covered basic commands, advanced techniques and permission handling for efficient directory management. If you found this video helpful, Please subscribe and share it with others exploring Linux. For more tutorials, check out our blog linked in the description. And remember, whether you need lifetime VPS, dedicated servers, managed WordPress hosting, monthly VPS plans, or lifetime web hosting based on cPanel, Vox4 has you covered. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.